David, here at Manufacts, you've got quite some relationship with DTS UK, um, not just on their courier machines, but on, on their, their Johnfords, their, their Litz Pro design as well. But the, the topic of this video really is the Nicholas Courier machines. The one behind us is a, a really large universal machine, isn't it? But tell us about all of the, the products that you have from them and why you like them. Well, we've been dealing with DTS now since about 2002. Uh, this was actually one of the first machines that we, we bought from them. Um, it has been an excellent machine for us and the service that we've been getting as well from DTS, from the annual servicing, uh, the breakdown servicing as well, it's been fantastic. And you really need to be an engineer to be able to sell and sort of support this kit. That, that's really DTS's credentials, aren't they? That's right, and we know that DTS send their engineers off to Spain, to Korea, to get all the training that they need to be able to service these machines. Have you been with them at all? Unfortunately, no, I'm still oh, waiting for the invite. No, I've been a couple of times, actually. <laughs> the factory is just out of this world. Seeing these machines being made, it kind of, it kind of demonstrates to you how they do achieve this incredible longevity. Now, you say this is the oldest machine that you've got. What about the newest machine? The newest machine is, is the Axia, which is in the bay just opposite, which is a, now an eight meter machine, giving us a lot more capacity. But we also have in here a lot more other uh, Koreas. Uh, they've got the FPs and the FP machines as well. So how many have you got in total then? We've got nine in total. Right, and they're all different styles. The one that we see here, this has got quite a, uh, quite a, well, a very versatile head on it, isn't it? The ability to do sort of full yeah. five axis machining. Do you get the best out of that? Oh yeah, we, we definitely do get the best out of that. And, yeah. and, and even to like tight tolerances when it comes to positioning, even though the machine is almost two decades old. Yeah, we've, we have it maintained every year. We have it maintained and calibrated every year. What we don't do on this machine is put any heavy cuts through it because the head would get uh, damaged doing that. So it is kept to light use. We do a lot of the roughing out on the other machines which can take that roughing out and do the final machining on here. So is that like the Axia that you've just bought? That's a travelling column machine with that solid ram, yep. supported ram um, with the box in box construction. That's where all your, your big cuts go, is it? Yeah, that's right. That would take all the heavy machining away from this type of machine and then come over here to do the final machining. What are you doing here at Manufax to, to warrant machines of this size? David? Oh, we're doing a lot of work for the aerospace industry which does demand this and a lot of our jigs and fixtures can be up to 40 metres, 60 metres long. Must be a lot of weight as well, you must be putting a lot of weight on these tables on occasions. Yeah we can be, we can be putting on these tables up to 12 and a half tonnes. And how much skill do your operators need these days to be able to manage and, and throughput production on machinery like this? Is, has the control systems taken a lot of that away or is the I mean, I noticed you've got jig borers here as well, so you are trying to identify with real precision machining. Yeah, all our engineers in here are fully skilled, time-served engineers. There's not a single one of them where they're just a button pusher. You know, they all can program the machines, set the job, their own jobs up, read a drawing where necessary, but also we do have in-house programming as well. Yeah. Um, would you encourage people to use courier machines at, from DTS? Would you, would you say that people can be uh, eliminated of any concerns when dealing with that business? I wouldn't hesitate to promote DTS.